Well, I am so inspired by last year. Um, I, I thought that we had a capital literary year last year um, with having so many wonderful writers in our midst, and national writers, local writers, um, and the opportunity to publish in Valley Voices with Mississippi University and with uh, Merge Magazine and with Broadside Press in their 400 years uh, anthology. Um, so now I'm thinking, um, I have one book already, um, Afrosynthesis, colon, A Feast of Poetry and Folklore. Um, I am thinking that I'm beginning to develop other pieces that I want to go into another book. Um, so I need to be thinking in those terms so that I won't be a, 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 a one album wonder or one hit wonder or one book wonder. <laughs> but really think seriously about expanding my stock. And then I want to seriously look around for um, a project to work on. I know we're going to be working on pieces on Toni Morrison um, because um, her life was just so fascinating and so steeped in history and culture and her love of the ancestors and her being um, uh, or us honoring her as a literary ancestor um, that it was just important you know that we celebrate her um, in a real serious way uh, particularly in that a uh, few of us got a chance to, to meet her and talk with her um, about her work um, then I would also, I'm excited, I'm excited about <laughs> Eugene um, being involved in the Furious Flower uh, annual conference in Washington, D.C., September 27, 28. Um, and some of us are planning to go there. Cheryl sure, Lois and Jay and I will be going. Um, to to this wonderful opportunity to meet with three, not one, three Nobel, not Nobel, but poet laureates, former poet laureates of the United States, and they're right. all women. Right. women. They're all black <laughs> women. How? Where? In the world would you get three of them together at one time? Yeah excited. But in addition to that, then the next day we get to see Eugene B. Redman and 25 major poets who uh, symbolize one of the 25 years of the existence of the uh, Furious Flower uh, Conference. Um, will be reading and doing workshops. So I mean, you know, what better literary weekend could you ever have? Let me just add, <laughs> the five living uh, Pulitzer Prize winners will be there. Oh, black. You said five, can there. you imagine that? F there are five living black wow. Pulitzer Prize, three women and a man. Okay. Komenyaka. Yeah, yeah. A man named Barlow, Rita Dove, mm -hmm. Patricia Smith, uh, 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 Natasha Trethewey. Okay. See there? Where else can you get this kind of excitement? <laughs> and live, you know, living in East St. Louis, having grown up in East St. Louis, <clears throat> carrying the spirit of East St. Louis everywhere I go. In the um, companionship of such marvelous writers that we have here at this table, no greater blessing is there. So um, that is just a few of the things that I'm going to do and that I want to do. I, this, The book thing, of course, is going to take more than a year to do. I realize that. I'm not in a rush. But I'm not going to do like the last time. My mother kept telling me, Darlene, write a book, and I wouldn't. And I waited until after she died, and I said, okay, mother, now I understand what you were saying. 
and I wrote Afrosynthesis. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to stay on the case. So that's it. I, I would, can I just say, I need to say something because everybody mentioned a, a bunch of names. And one of the things I've, I've done is uh, I taught at the University of, uh, of Cape Town, oh, UCT, mm -hmm. uh, of course, in audio drama, of course. But in walking that campus, I realized something that Ralph Bunch, the first person to win. Uh, the Nobel Prize for Peace, I'm sorry, first, first black person with the Nobel Prize for Peace, walked that campus too. He did his postgraduate study there. He did this wonderful thing about Africa, but anyway, it doesn't matter. There's this thing that says that your molecules, wherever you go, stay in that thing. I've shook, I've shook hands, shake, I've shook, I've shook hands with Dr. Richard Leakey, who touched Lucy. Oh my God. Mm. I was shaking hands with 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 with, uh, well, with James Baldwin at the same at the same event <clears throat> with with Don Cornelius. Yes, I, yes, I've, I've hung in Tasaka Shanghai. She's one of my teachers, and 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 and, and, and Avery Brooks. And, and as, as a matter of fact, I was just with Loretta Dumont. She's on she's on she's on my YouTube channel. It's the first. Now I need you to confirm this, Eugene, because she said this. I have to believe her. I got her to read. Oh, you did. With me, we read we, we read Henry Dumas' poem. It's on it's, it's on the channel. She said it was the first time in her life that she's ever read on a public forum Henry Henry's work. She's 85 years old. We know, know we know her very well. And I know, well, I know you know. See, they will see her too later. Yeah. This month. All I'm trying She'll to say, is yeah. that. but we've never heard her read. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. She, she, you go to my YouTube channel. She's there. She's reading. Okay. We, we read um, um, the the rain, you know, the, 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 the tree poem. <laughs> I call it the tree poem. You know. Oh, once when I was three. Yeah. Oh, you talk about that. Yeah, yeah. The ones yeah. And we, we did. All I'm trying to say. Oh, I forgot. All I'm trying to say is, you know, I, I've shaken hands with Thomas and Carter. We recorded them in New York. Mm -hmm. sure all I'm trying to say out. is, all I'm trying to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all I'm trying to say, is, especially to Ross. When you travel, you can travel through books. Right. When, when you travel and you talk to people and you touch people, right. we're all now engulfed with all these people that I mentioned, that you've mentioned. We, mm -hmm. They're here with us. They will continue to be with us. I just needed to say that only because of certain things I've heard. Let me say this. Dr. Um, you know, Deepak Chopra said, calls it bioplasma. Of them call it, you know, when your auras connect and all particles you pick up, you read, you kind of merge. Your energies are merging, so you you do merge and you leave some of yourself for real. That's why they say when you write pieces, you know, or paint, and your your energy goes through or it's inside there because you are your your aura is taken up by it's literally a part of that canvas, and you know it's in there. So you are putting you. In everything you, everywhere you go, everywhere you, every person you touch, and and, and that that's some stuff to know. You, you know, yeah, you take even, some of us with you. You know, <laughs> even in leadership dynamics, um, I'm a fellow leadership fellow for Governor State University, and one of the things that we learn is that there's a field uh, or a stream in your environment, and it's established by the leadership. So if the leadership is is wonky, yes. <laughs> yes. then you got a bad uh, aura, the bad yes. feeling in your stream. Yes. But if it's straight and it is honest and sincere, then that flows through the uh, dynamics of your uh, corporation or your business or your office as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. on a lot of different levels, yeah. we're always working on all these multi-levels. Yeah. And it's good to know these things because it operationalizes what we do as we go on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. So I am just, one thing I want to say about the Writers Club, and I have to every time I get a chance because I, I do believe, and it may not be true, but I believe that the UGV Redmond Writers Club is probably the only small town in St. Louis Writers Club that have met all three Nobel laureates of African descent. Yeah. And that's Derek Walcott, Wally Shawinka, and Toni Morrison. And I mean, 
not just shaking hands, but having a chance to have conversation with them. And yeah, was, took pictures yeah, with everybody true. but Tony because she was not in the mood that day. That's right. She yeah. told us all. But she, had, but she had a nice conversation with her. I did. I had a really good uh, conversation with her about Beloved mm -hmm. yeah. and how she wrote that book. And I told her that my name, Darlene, um, is Beloved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was yeah. pretty impressed with that. She even signed my book and wrote her name in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> put a date on it. And a lot of times she'll sign her name and won't put a date. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was really proud of that. Yeah, I know. But you know that yeah. but you know, that's also only an example of the kind of reach that Eugene has. And the reason why many of us have come to this table and stayed here, because no matter what we can do, if we have somebody else who has a broader reach to help us do better than we're able to do, then we're supposed to be wise enough to accept and um, and um, embrace that. That's right. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Um. So. Are there any um, <clears throat> any questions or observations about the assignments 